So this is the algorithm that we've chosen to implement as a solution to our problem. And we said that it involved only one single traversal and that the storage requirements, uh, the extra storage requirements of the algorithm were very minimal. In fact, we only needed one extra uh, pointer. This is the M behind. It will be pointing to the element that we need to return from the function. And um, it runs in linear time. So big O of N. Now these are the steps that are involved in the algorithm. First of all, we have to advance the current pointer. This is the pointer that is used to sweep over the list and that will arrive at the end of the list. And, w and this, will, this pointer will indicate to us when, the, when we have to stop running the algorithm and returning M behind. So current will be used to sweep over the list. And first, the first thing we have to do is advance it by M steps. And after we do that, we could then point M behind to the head of the list. And therefore, what we would have done is basically separate m behind from current by exactly m. So if m is equal to 1, in this particular example, current will first point to head. Then we advance it by m, which is 1. We advance it by 1 step. And then m behind will be made to point to head. So it will point right here. And m behind will be separated by current by 1 step. So this is the first thing we do. And then once we have them separated by the correct distance, we lock them together. And then we make them advance forward in step until current reaches the very end of the list. And this is the condition that we have to check for to ensure that we've actually arrived to the end of the list. Once we, we've ascertained that we've arrived at the end of the list, we could just return m behind. And m behind will be the correct element that we have to return, which is m to last element. Um, so let's put that in code right here. Now we know we have to return a pointer to a node. And the function, I'm going to call it find m to uh, last node or element, whatever you want to call it, and then it's going to be passed two arguments. The first argument is going to be the linked list or a node uh, or a pointer to the head node, so node pointer head, and it's going to also be passed the integer m. This is this determines what we have to return, the element that we have to return. Um, the first thing you want to do is initialize the pointers that you're going to be using. So we have two pointers. We have the current, make it point to head because we're going to be using current to sweep over the entire list. So it starts ahead and it sweeps through the entire list. And the next pointer that we need is m behind. This is the one I added for my algorithm. And this will make it point to null. And uh, at the beginning it points to null until we've advanced current to the correct position. And only then will we make m behind point to head. And then we lock them together. So at the beginning it points to null. It's not pointing to anything in the list. So let's advance current. To, the, to its correct position so that we, make, we could make m behind point to head. So we're going to use a for loop for that. And uh, so make sure we advance by m steps. This condition actually ensures that. And increment i every step. And um, you also want to make sure that your list is long enough. If your list has less than m elements, you have to return null. So we're always going to ensure that current hasn't yet reached the uh, the end of the list. If it reaches the end of the list, then this condition will return false. Current next will be actually equal to null. So always while we make sure that we're not at the end of the list, then we could increment current. So advance it m steps. This will perform the advance. But if this fails, then we have to return null or return m behind, which is set to null. So the user will realize that the list was too short. So this is the first thing that we do. We've advanced uh, the current pointer to its correct position. Now let's make m behind point to head. So after the for loop, we're going to make m behind point to head. Now at this point, they are both at the correct position. Now we have to sweep the, through the list while keeping them in step. So while current next, so while we make sure that we haven't reached the end, this while loop is basically the, the sweep at the end. So we, both, we, we uh, move them both together until current next is equal to null. So this condition is basically verified by this. Once you reach the end of the list, this will be equal to null and it will exit that. And then just make them advance together. So current will be current next. And uh, m behind will be m behind next. So this makes them advance in step until we reach the end of the list, then return m behind. And this will be the correct element that you have to return, separated from the last element by m steps.